What's up guys? So I skated Killer Skate Park. This is Evansville, Indiana, the hometown of Chris from Powell and Fallen. I don't know his last name, but I'll look it up before I put this video out. Uh, emo kid, you know what I'm talking about. The only emo kid in skateboarding on YouTube. Skates with Andy Anderson, Dan Corrigan, um, all the Powell guys. The one who skates the uh, old school boards with no nose. I don't know how he does it. I used to do that too, but the way he skates, it seems like it would be a lot harder to skate that kind of board. Cause he does big stuff. And when I'm doing big stuff, even moderately big stuff, I like to have the safety of a nose. Like when you are sliding your front foot forward, it's good to have a little safety here to catch on and even the board out. If not, I don't even know how you do it without just doing an ollie north, like just kicking down and kicking your front foot out. Um, Cause it's really nice to have a big nose when you're doing stairs and stuff, something to really catch on to. But I had a bad experience at the skate park. The skate park's great. It's made really well. All the ramps are perfect, but I got hit in the back of the head. I was doing a kickflip or something up a little gap and uh, I felt like somebody just shot me in the back of the head. It was like the hardest hit I've ever had to the back of my head. And I hold my head and, and turn around and this guy is like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And uh, my girlfriend's like, yeah, I saw it coming, but I didn't warn you because I thought you'd turn around and it would hit you in the face. Uh, so she cares more about my face than my head and she doesn't have any faith in me that I could put my hands up maybe But apparently it flew out of like a six-foot ramp Almost hit the ceiling was going really high and then pfft, hit me in the back of the head. So I uh, Immediately shook it off and dropped into the biggest ramp there and started skating again uh, I was acting like I'm okay, but I wasn't okay. You know, you know like what is that? Not really fine. You just I felt like I was okay, but I wasn't okay. And I was just fine. So apparently this skate park's been here for a little while. Um, well, no, this is in 2018. And his last name is Hyatt. So we're gonna watch this. I need to turn this down. It's got music. Kickflip manual, blunt kickflip. He's good. I wonder how long this park had been here before this video. He's a good transition skater for sure. Their outdoor park is not that good in Evansville. So he must have been skating some other parks around or Owensboro, Kentucky on the other side of that river is a pretty good park, but not really big transition or anything. He's, he's good at, at vert, like he's good at big stuff. He's definitely a lot better than uh, anybody that was there at the time. I mean, it wasn't a super easy park to skate, but it was made pretty well. Yeah, that, that quarter pipe's crazy. It's just like a wall with a little bit of transition at the bottom. Hopefully this is the right guy I'm talking about. He's really young here. I might, it might be a totally different guy. <laughs> I, also the sun's in my eyes, so I don't, I don't know. Oh, wow. He, I saw the major crew do that uh, front board to regular board body burial thing. Yeah, that was cool. He's he's good. I saw Thrasher or somebody maybe put out a clip of him uh, doing this power ollie into a huge bank and they were taking photos. Somebody, some big uh, company did that. So 2018, it's like five years ago. So he's a young guy. Cause he looks like a kid here. He still kind of looks like a kid, but oh yeah, that was cool. I could do that, but I don't want to, you know, cause it's hard. But I've, I mean, I've done it before. It it wasn't bad, you know. It was kind of a, a the bigger side was kind of big, but it wasn't so big that it felt you know uncomfortable or like you were gonna get hurt. I did say I really need a helmet right before I got hit in the head. <laughs> I don't know who that kid was. I wish I had it on video. 
the, the actual point where he hit me in the head. Everybody was really nice that worked there. They have a really good skate shop, a lot of great stuff. It seems like they know what they're doing with all that. Uh, the edges of the ramps have some stuff to protect the wood. It, it feels like it is skate light. It's not like anything, any cheap material. So it turns out they actually put out a video part from this skate park and skate shop of Christopher Hyatt. Uh, yeah, so let's check that out. Okay, so they got the uh, Bones Brigade, Brigade uh, intro. And then they've got, I don't even know where that comes from, but I've seen that a lot. The uh, little tie-dye color name. This spot's in Louisville, or you may say Louisville if you're from the north. That was a really bad head injury. It seems like there's a definitely a lot of head injuries around this place, so wear a helmet. Be like Andy Anderson. Okay, so we got a DIY spot. I don't actually know where this DIY spot is. I don't know where that is either. That's Owensboro's Park. That's really close to that area. Three flip down a stair set. I think he's gotten really good recently. Oh, another uh, back at the skate park. I mean, he can skate vert, he can skate handrails. This guy is pretty good. So this was six years ago, so the skate park has been there for a pretty long time. Hopefully the other indoor skate park that's 10 minutes away doesn't put it out of business, because it's a pretty cool place, but they're both pretty cool, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a nice park. So maybe, maybe there is some like bigger transition, some bowls and stuff close to the area. I kind of got the vibe that he was from this area just from watching those videos of him in California. Um, because around here, like Fallout Boys just hitting, we're a little behind in the times, and people are dressing like that. And you know, you don't really see that in California as much. You know, it's kind of like some some redneck wankster emo stees. Um, He's pro, isn't he? Or is he not pro? Is he maybe he might be am for uh pal. I'm really hoping I'm talking about the right guy and this is the same guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm gonna have to type his name in and just make sure. There's probably some other parks, like some other indoor parks close to that area too. Besides the one I went to for the next video. Oh, jumping off a roof. That's something you'd, you'd hear about, like the guy in school that you know. It's like, yeah, I jumped off a roof with my skateboard. Or it's like when I was in school, it was, I skated the handrail in the middle of the school when you're leaving, like inside. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's that trick again. That's the Owensboro Park, that's a great park. Yeah, I think it is that guy, because he definitely does those those melons to fakey like that. Oh man, it's getting dark. I gotta do some more wildlife photography for my photo channel. Trey Devil. Uh, so yeah, I guess he is one of those guys that kind of grew up skating indoor parks, and when you grow up skating indoor parks, you do get really good at skating fast, really good at doing big stuff. I like indoor parks. Oh, and he, he lands that. I'm gonna go skate that spot in a future video. It's really close to the skate park. Maybe in a couple days, cause I'm gonna be around that area. So I'll skate that spot eventually on this channel. I didn't really skate very long. I was only there for a few minutes uh, and I hit my head really hard uh, that one time. So I kind of backed off from skating hard the rest of the time I was there and I left pretty quickly because there was another skate park in the area which I'm also going to be doing a video on that I had to skate afterwards and that skate park I skated a lot longer so yeah that was killer skate park go there you know there's a there's a few good skate parks in the area so it's worth the trip if you live anywhere close it's in Evansville Indiana 
and I was downtown Evansville. It's a decent sized town. It's pretty nice, nice coffee shop. Um, I heard somebody say that it was kind of rough, but I didn't see anything that I thought was, you know, suspicious of any, or anything. It seemed pretty safe while I was there. So yeah, check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.